you know, responsible for this, that's still present today. And nothing has been happening. The worst case scenario, no guy has ever been prosecuted for rape because they feel that like these women, that their rewards, that their wages, they sleep with them and they get away with it. They tell, they tell them lies. They promise them that if you sleep with me, you are going to get released. If you sleep with me, I will persuade for your papers to be pushed through and you get your stay in England. And these women are desperate here. And these people, these men who are in there, they are still doing the same thing and nobody is talking. Nobody is prosecuting them. The worst they get is they get sacked. And that's it. They're free. And they can move to the next job. And I bet they don't even put in their resume that they were raping in household. So that's another thing that needs to be raised in the matter of closing the household. So thank you very much. I'm, and my brother was 11. It had to be at night so we could hide and from the border police. We were very frightened by the dark and the animals we were, and the animals. We were also scared of the men in the group we were with. We had to cross a deep and fast flowing river where we nearly drowned. We couldn't swim and the river was treacherous and we had to watch where we stepped. In one moment, my brother nearly drowned and my mom and I nearly drowned with him, but the men saved us. Like many other asylum seekers, we don't come to the UK for fun. We come here because we have no choice. How many people are dying in the Mediterranean? Would you risk your life to come to the UK if you really weren't in danger in your own country? And then we have to leave it because it wasn't safe for us anymore. The people that were, the people that were after us found out we were in grief. We came to the UK with the hope to be safe and build a future. When we arrived, it was a different story. My mum was warned not to claim asylum. I worked in Yarlswood. I was a mental health lead for Yarlswood. Uh, I worked there clinically for eight months. Uh, and I was exposed to quite a lot of um, malpractice within Yarlswood. Uh, Circle was running Yarlswood. And what I had identified and raised on several occasions to each layer of management right up to the, the CEO of Yarlswood, who's now no longer in Circo, I raised the concerns about the treatment the residents were receiving, about the, the disbelief uh, that residents were victims of torture, they were treated inappropriately, they weren't believed, and I had this and heard these stories over and over and over again by residents in Yarlswood. Thank you. Or you can go across and take it, but just move out of the way.